So, blood leads away from the heart at high pressure. The blood vessel that it leads away from the heart in is it's moving down an artery. That artery has a number of adaptions to maintain that high pressure. To start off with, it has a very narrow lumen, so the blood doesn't have lots of space to move through. It's got a layer of elastic tissue. That means when there's a big push of blood that's coming down from the heart, it almost bulges out a little bit like a balloon. And instead of popping, it just stretches. Then it's then causes it to stretch to be compressed back. Right? That compressing back is called elastic recoil because it helps compress back and helps compress the blood even more. Along that, you've got a layer of muscle tissue. That muscle tissue can go and contract, which helps go and compress the blood and squeeze the blood through. The next blood vessels that we go and move through are the capillaries. So the capillaries is where you're getting transfer of materials between the blood and the body cells. Primarily, we want to think about the fact that oxygen is diffusing out to be used by the cells in respiration. Carbon dioxide is diffusing in. So carbon dioxide being the byproduct of respiration. In the capillaries, the blood pressure is relatively low because if it was any high, then they'd rupture. Capillaries also have a few or one key adaptation. Capillaries are only one cell thick. Because they're only one cell thick, that means that there is a short diffusion distance. They also have a very, very low, narrow lumen that allows only one blood cell through at a time. So that causes maximum diffusion of oxygen in the case of red blood cells. So leading back up to the heart. So leading back up to the heart through or from the capillaries, we go and we get our veins. So the veins go and they lead back up to the heart. Because they're leading back up to the heart, they carry deoxygenated blood. Few things, the blood pressure in the veins is relatively low. This is because it's got a large lumen. To go and prevent any backflow, therefore, in the veins, you have valves. So when the blood almost gets sucked back a little bit, those valves will shut and prevent any backflow. So this deoxygenated blood goes back up the vein all the way to the heart where the entire cycle begins again.